Hey guys, good afternoon everyone. It's uh, June 3rd. It's a Thursday, sunny Thursday here in Manila. I hope you are having a great time and uh, I hope you had a profitable day today. Uh, you are with Miss JD. Uh, once again, I am going to talk about the, well, the most trending and um, the stocks with the promising setup in terms of technical analysis so just hang in there if this is the first time you're watching my video I'm inviting you to uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos all right let's first talk about our index <clears throat> we ended red today but one thing you gotta notice here is the 1.89 billion on uh, net foreign buying so I would have to say this Good thing it's just a 0.73% down, so that means we're steady in terms of um, momentum. The continuation for this uh, for the index to move higher, um, there's a big potential that it will still happen. Okay, it's just uh, trying to mimic this movement that we had uh, on the week of uh, May 28th. Yeah, so it's this is just a temporary uh, pullback. And I'm expecting that we could see some more movements to the upside. We're very near the overbought uh, area, but still here within our <laughs> sorry about that uh, within the threshold. Okay, so we're not exactly at the overbought area yet. So that means um, the stocks that you are holding that are part of the index, I'm sure there are a lot of them showing promising setups as well. So let me go through some of my picks um, right now that some of them are, I only see one. I, I didn't um, scrub the entire list, but I just have uh, some picks that are showing promising signs, okay? So this is five, but let me see if I have time, I can go through the other stocks as well. Okay, the first stock I have on my list because I see a promising setup. This is not part of the index though, but it's fine. Tech. Tech has been on a slow decline movement for the past, actually since the, um, January 2021. It's been on a steady decline, but right now, with the movement that happened in today's market performance, I saw a promising sign. First sign. Um, you see this cloud over here for our volume. The uh, volume for today is much higher than the usual trend okay so that's one that means if the stock moves higher and there's uh, it's supported by the volume that means it's more sustainable okay so chances are we will see continuation of uh, this rally in the coming days number two um, sign here is we've broken out of uh, our downtrend channel okay, as you notice here uh, this is your resistance on a downtrend Okay, so if I do this, put this one here, that's your uh, downtrend uh, channel. Okay, I hope you're able to see it. There, see that? So for uh, several months now, we're just moving within this uh, trend line. Okay, this is your downward uh, support. This is your downtrend uh, resistance. And today we managed to break out of that. So that means we could now shift. Okay, we should now, uh, uh, on the short term, we now will have to shift our outlook and create an uptrend channel. So from a downtrend, we're now shifting this here. This is our new outlook. There you go. Okay, so chances are we will be moving within that uh, uh, pacing or within that pace. Okay, so promising sign over here, but the best entry that I can say here is around five, uh, five here, five eighty-five. Okay, the reason why I'm saying that is because this is your support. You had your resistance right here, so that means um, those key levels will be revisited. I know we ended at 595 today, so chances are there will be fluctuations. Some people who are merely trading this stock will be taking profit. For all we know, they may have, they might have entered around 541, so they are already profitable. Okay, so um, <clears throat> uh, 
anticipate some fluctuations along the way. But uh, you may, if you want to use this kind of uh, technical analysis, just create that line and uh, that will complete the uptrend channel. All right. The next stock I want to talk about is Double Dragon. Double Dragon has been <clears throat> on a steady uh, decline and uh, there was, you know, some slight uh, uptick here and then decline again. But overall, it's still on downward uh, trend. But in the short term, okay, so if your outlook maybe is just good for a week or two, you can consider this for some short plays. And uh, pretty much similar thought process that I have with tech. If you go and um, create a, a downward here, this is your trend line. Actually here, this could be your trend line. And we now have crossed the MA20. Okay, so that's your MA20 line, the yellow line here in our Bollinger Band. So this is the Bollinger Band that I have. Um, I just click um, Bollinger Band in my indicators and that's it. Um, the moment we cross the MA20 line, that's a big um, uh, milestone in, in, a, in a chart because normally that MA20 will now become your support uh, because for uh, several weeks now, your MA20 in, um, in Double Dragon has been our resistance and we managed to break out of that. Okay, so uh, Double Dragon is really known for, you know, <clears throat> Minimal movements, okay? Notice this, it's 0.81. Uh, small movements. But in the past few uh, weeks, over here, just on this uh, week, you had some big moves. But, I mean, weeks. Like this one, weeks. So expect that, you know, we can still be moving slowly here. 1231 is the best entry that I can think of right now. Okay? And, um, Overall, we're already on a you know a very cheap area. Hopefully, it doesn't reach this level again. I think this is the lowest, and uh, we're not sure if that will be revisited again. But I don't think so. We're slowly recovering, but uh, twelve thirty uh, is already a good area to uh, try out. Uh, just start probably do test buys, right? <clears throat> Next is ASEN. ASEN is also giving us some good moves. Of course, this is backed by good fundamentals, uh, knowing that this is an, uh, a, a company um, owned and operated by the Ayala. So we're in terms of uh, management and you know the, uh, the uh, health of the business, we're secured and good there. Uh, this is a, a growth stock right now. So we are triggering the upper Bollinger Band. That is good. Um, I have a, <clears throat> let me see. So this is your, okay, so this is the support that we have. And it's an area, guys, so take note of that. So it could be uh, slightly higher or lower. So in this case, I just plotted it at 7.33, so it, um, that's why you will notice some, uh, Slight overshoot here, uh, but it's supported here because it's this is your resistance. Okay, you got a support right here as well. So it's an area, so you'll notice some slight overshoot down below and up here. So I think if you will have, uh, you know, an opportunity for the stock to uh, fluctuate, you can either um, <clears throat> place a buy order very near 733, or if you know that that stock is really going to grow, uh, the area where we have right now is already very, very promising. Because I like it when a, our Bollinger Band is triggered to the upside because chances are there will be continuation. Look at this. See that? starts to trigger to the upside, then it moves higher. And there's foreign buying. Let's see how foreign buying had uh, behaved in the past uh, few days. Okay, nice. Look at this. This is, uh, you just cannot neglect this huge of a volume. Okay, and if you, there was some foreign selling that happened, the, the volume is still very, very small. That means people who may have entered right here are still holding on to their positions. So 
yeah, I think uh, this just um, solidifies our our assumption. Next is a DNL. DNL. Okay. Um, the reason why I I am seeing a promising um, technicals here is the fact that yes, we are again triggering the upper Bollinger Band. So that's really nice. At the same time, this was your first trigger here. Yesterday was uh, a solid, a solid um, <clears throat> uh, day. We ended green, and then there's big volume, and then we, there's a continuation. Volume is also you know, slightly lower, but at least it's above the uh, the average. Okay, so we managed to break out of that resistance area. That's a one candlestick higher than that. So our support right now so this just um, uh, validates that our previous resistance will now become our support so sometimes it happens within the next day it gets revisited sometimes it takes a few days before that resistance uh, will become a support it gets revisited one one way or the other it could be within a day a long week touches that and then it goes up right so I'm not plotting any resistance yet uh, oh, there. If you look back, let's try to do a weekly. Okay. Well, nice. Big. The big picture is still promising here. The highest point was 13. So, uh, but we, we just want to manage our expectations. So let's say you want to take profit around here. That's a 36% gain. If you want to profit around here, that's 49. If you do it somewhere here, that's a 66. Okay, so your call, it depends on how patient you are uh, in terms of uh, profit taking. And last on our list is AC. AC, that's, so this is our weekly chart. I like it when we start with a longer time frame because it gives us a big picture right here. So in the long term um, perspective, we, um, last week was already the beginning of, uh, you know, a, a uh, possible breakout and uh, this week if we continue to end much higher than this let's say we even if it, if it uh, fluctuates by tomorrow and end uh, somewhere let's say higher than 776 we're still safe we have already managed to break out of that downtrend channel okay so now let's try to zoom in to a faster time frame and look at our daily chart okay so now this gives us a an idea that with us ending red today, this simply means that this support right here could be revisited once again. And that's why I'm already uh, mapping it here because um, it will serve as your trigger to start watching this. You may want to put your order around 776 or somewhere in between your call for as long as you know that the picture, overall picture here is we've managed to break out of that downtrend channel then after that let's say you enter at 776 which is our support at the moment then you can plot uh, would you like to take profit around 8862 or we want to stay there longer because you know that's Ayala but uh, for a, a blue chip company uh, on a downtrend and now slowly recovering this is perfect time uh, for those people with buying power, start buying, okay? Because the economy is starting to recover, and someday we'll look back into this day and, uh, you know, tell ourselves, I could have done this, I could have done that. And uh, as you're watching this video, you know, <clears throat> it's up to you. You want to take action or you let the opportunity go away. All right. So that is it for this uh, episode. I was able to cover five tech, Double Dragon, Ace, and DNL, AC. And if you want, uh, you can go back to this video three days, five days from now and uh, try to compare if our assumptions and our analysis have really transpired. Okay. Um, I hope you do click the like, hit the subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts by dropping a comment. I really appreciate that and I do read all of them. Thank you in advance. Bye-bye for now.